So I decided to make an additional video for this question because I got a few comments on the previous video that I made for this question in which I found the values of B and C in order to solve for X, which is what the question is asking for, one possible value of X. I used a longer method to find X, although I knew that there was a shorter way to find it. It's just, it's not the most obvious, it's not the most obvious way, uh, in my opinion, right? So I could be wrong, and that's why I'm making the additional video. So let's jump into what may be an even easier way to find this answer than the other video alternative that I first provided. So we're told we have x squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And then we're also told that in the given equation, b and c are constants, if negative b plus radical b squared minus 4c equals 18, and negative b minus b squared, sorry, minus radical b squared minus 4c equals 10. And then, of course, what is one possible value of x? So if when you see this portion here of these two equations, it rings a bell and reminds you of the quadratic formula, which says x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. If these things cause you to think about that quadratic formula, then you're already well on your way to finding this answer relatively quickly. The only thing that we must recognize is that the equations provided do not have an a value because the equation provided here does not have an a value, which means that a value must be a 1, the coefficient 1, which means that a value is not necessary, right? So I can write this as just x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4c all over 2. So what does that tell you? Well, that tells you that the x value here is equal to all of this divided by 2. Okay, well, the question tells us what this is. It tells us what the positive version is, which is 18, right? That's the negative b plus radical b squared minus 4c. And it tells us what the negative version, our negative b minus radical b squared minus 4c, is equal to 10. So we're going to have two possible answers, but in each case, it's going to be either the 18 provided divided by 2, right? This is the 2 I'm dividing by. And maybe I should write it this way. So I'm going to write it as x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of 4, I'm sorry, b squared minus 4c all over 2, which can be split into x equals negative b plus radical b squared minus 4c over 2, and x equals negative b minus radical b squared minus 4c over 2. The question tells us, let me just erase all this so we can get it very clearly. The question tells us that negative b plus radical b squared minus 4c is equal to 18. So this is 18 over 2. And the question tells us that negative b minus radical b squared minus 4c is equal to 10. So this would be 10 over 2. So our answers are 18 over 2, which is 9, and 10 over 2, which is 5. And because the question asks for just one possible value of x, either 5 or 9 will work, right? So you bubble in or you write in and bubble in 5 or 9 either will give you a correct answer.